What is up guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Kossel. Let me show you three best tools for retouching your portrait in Photoshop. The goal here with this retouching is to create a natural, clean and realistic look. The three tools I use are the healing brush, the clone stamp tool and the dodge and burn curves layer. This is the image I'll be working with. Um, I've already done a bit of um, light balancing, just basic, a bit of raw processing in Capture One. If you haven't seen my video on how I process, edit my raw images, please check the description down below. Lighting plays a major role with retouching your images. Softer lighting on the face will cover or hide blemishes. Back in Photoshop, the first technique we'll be using, I already created um, the dodge and burn layers and just a normal layer for editing the images. So the, the, the way to create a dodge and burn layer is to create a new, get new curve layer and pull one down for the dodge, you invert it and call it dodge. Then you create another one and you push it up and you invert it, command I to invert and you call that the burn layer. Or rather it's dodge layer because burn is, brightening is, for, is to dodge and darkening is to burn. Previous versions of Photoshop never used to give you a good result with your healing brush but somehow things have improved and I can just go through my entire image with just the healing brush. Let's zoom right in and with our healing brush selecting the first layer, let's just call this layer healing. The healing layer, just go over the areas with blemishes. To get the most out of the healing brush, you have to like be zoomed into your image so that you're only picking only the blemishes, not covering larger area, just the blemishes alone so that it doesn't sample a bigger area and then create another blemish itself to your image. So that's why I was zoomed in. Now, the healing brush is not always the greatest, so at the same time, I mix the healing brush with the clone stamp. So the clone stamp normally is where you sample and place your sample on a good area. And you just keep repeating the process. The better way to doing it is to create blend modes. So with the blend modes, you are able to sample and erase just the bright blemish, a bright blemish or a dark blemish in your image without affecting anything else. So you have a targeted area. Let's say this is your targeted area. This dark part here is your targeted area. This is your targeted area and you just want to affect only that. What you need to do is, it's a dark blemish you would come to the mode and switch to lighten. S to select your clone stamp tool and hold down your auto option button and click on the area you want to sample and sample the blemish. So what this will do is remove only the dark areas of the blemish and you could just go through the entire image like that. So it's cleaning up only the dark areas. It's not gonna to touch this, this for example, we sample here and clean up here. It, oh, it's um, in normal. So we'll go back and switch our mode to lighten. I will do it again. So sample here and remove this dark area. Remove this dark area. Remove this. It leaves the the white dots in the shot. But when you go over to darken sample even with the same sampling and just rub over now it starts to clean up 
the bright spots of the area it doesn't touch the colors it just touches the luminosity of the image which is a better way to doing it to make things easier for yourself you don't have to keep coming to the mode and switching modes you can create presets to help you i already created presets a darken preset and a lighten preset let's just let me show you how i do it it's basically like creating any brush preset you could either make it in a brush preset or you create it as a stamp tool i like to leave it as tools preset so i can just come here and create a preset set your blending mode to lighten opacity 100 percent the flow will depend on how quickly or slowly you want your effect to be painted in your picture i'm comfortable with the eight percent so i'll leave it at that i want to you want to select your airbrush to make it an easy flow you work on current layer select your sample to current layer that's why we've created a different layer for the image with all the settings you come down to this new icon and hit a new tool now you could create a brush preset instead and what that would what will happen is that it will appear in your brush settings i have just too many brushes so i don't want to confuse myself so i would rather come to where i have a few items selected which is my tool preset so i will create a new no i wouldn't make it a brush i'll call this lighting switch the mode to darken and create another one and call it darken the preset takes record of even your brush size and your your flow your hardness so make sure you are with the right flow and the right size before you can set your presets so now all we have to do is when we see a bright side you darken it you hit the darken and go over it to darken it I usually combine these three techniques at the same time. The dodge and burn layer can also be used to clean your skin, but it takes a little more time to rub it in. We pick a brush tool. I'll set my brush flow to, let's try 1% flow. Now, how does this work? Brush selected, you, switch to to reveal because it's on the black which is concealing so revealing the dodge now these dark areas you just come and paint over it well, if you can take your time it will give you the best natural result possible this process is the most natural because what it does is it just brightens the dark areas of your image and darkens the bright areas. It's not removing pixels, it's not replacing pixels, it's just lifting the shadows in dark areas. I don't do so much of the skin retouching using the dodge and burn. What I rather do with it is to open up the lighting. So this area is a little dark. What I would do is brighten it up. More like, it's like dodging and burning, but not really dodging and burning just cleaning up the skin this is how i create a clean look so I just go over areas that are really dark quite dark and just brighten them up so let's toggle before and after And if the effect is too much, you can always go to your opacity and dial it back a bit. But before then, I will make sure I'm done with working the entire image before I dial back the opacity. So at the same time, while I am cleaning up, I'm also dodging and burning. It's a two-step process. Brightening the bright areas enhancing the light there. 
it, this is a mix of all the techniques together so I go back I use my healing brush the spot healing brush basically we are done if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what videos you want me to make for you remember to subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos from this channel and i will see you in another video